So coming to the result in discussion part, first let us concentrate on the morphology of the Senna leaf. Senna leaf is very small in size, uh, it's 2 to 5 centimeter in length and 7 to 8 millimeter in diameter. So the apex, the topmost part is acute with sharp spine. So at the topmost part, uh, the presence of sharp spine can be observed. The margin is entire. That is the veins. Veins are reticulate. Reticulate means uh, you can see uh, left and right can find one by one uh, the attachment of vein. <coughs> Whereas uh, these, they are running towards the margin, anastomosing towards the margin. Then the lamina part, the lamina part are the entire flat with cracks. The base, base is asymmetrical. You can find here the lamina part at the left hand side and right hand side lamina part uh, attached to the midrib at different junction. That's why base is asymmetrical. This shape is known as lanceolate shape. Coming to its organoleptic character, uh, it is yellowish green in color, order slight or characteristics, taste is mucilaginous or slightly bitter. Coming to the extra feature, surface is isobilateral, thin and pubescent means the upper layer is hairy with trichome on both the surface. The both the upper layer and lower, lower layer uh, is, uh, uh, is uh, very smooth due to the presence of trichomes. So this is in brief regarding various morphological character of Senna leaf. Now coming to the microscopy. So when uh, you will take the transverse section of the Senna under the microscope you will observe the features like that. <clears throat> so as usual when you take the transverse section of any leaf it consists of mainly two parts lamina part and the midriff part. So the lamina part here it consists of upper epidermis then uh, followed by <coughs> covering trichome which is attached to the epidermal cell then you will find stomata and the greenish color uh, uh, greenish color uh, pellicet parenchyma cell this green color indicates presence of uh, uh, chlorophyll pigment whereas spherical shaped cells these are spongy parenchyma cells and after spongy parenchyma cell. Now if we divide this section from the middle, you can find from the bottom exactly the mirror image of the what I have explained now, just now. Upper epidermis, then uh, the trichomes, then uh, uh, pellicet parenchyma, spongy parenchyma. From lower part also, it is same. Lower epidermis, then presence of trichome and stomata. Uh, pellicet parenchyma and spongy parenchyma. So both the sides look similar. That's why it is known as isobilateral leaf. So Senna is an example of isobilateral leaf. Now coming to the midriff section. So midriff section consists of uh, um, uh, the vascular bundle which consists of the alternative arrangement of xylem and phloem parenchyma. Moreover, you will find the presence of cholenchyma cell in it. Few important characteristic features of Senna include uh, the presence of uh, the calcium oxalate crystals in spongy parenchyma. It is very specific in Senna. Then unicellular covering trichome and uh, <coughs> presence of parasitic stomata. These three are considered as the characteristic features of the microscopy of Senna leaf. So in brief what we have studied,
so senna is an example of iso bilateral leaf because uh, at the both surface um, upper epidermis and lower epidermis the cellular arrangement are same that's why it is an example of iso means same bi means two lateral means side example of iso bilateral leaf now coming to the uh, midrib section it can it contains uh, the vascular bundle which consists of xylem and phloem also contains cholenchyma cell so presence of uh, parasitic stomata unicellular covering trichome and a calcium oxalate crystal in uh, uh, spongy parenchyma are also observed in the microscopy means the transverse section of uh, uh, senna leaf so in brief these are the explanation of the morphology and microscopy of senna